Loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. It's me. Employee number 427. My name's Stanley. Was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. All right. Well, others might have considered it soul-winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Very happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, mouse. Hmm. Hmm. What's out the window? There's nothing out the window. Hmm. Hmm. Mouse? What? Oh. Guess we're not going this way then. Off. Hey. 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 Hmm. 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 I'm going back to my office, Bows. Leave me alone, Bows. <laughs> Bows. Bows, what happened? I'm clicking the restart button. Something's not right. Hey, Mouse. Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. You too, Mouse. Nice. <gasps> the door is there this time. Okay. It's pretty when Stanley nice. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Whatever you say, Mouse. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, boss. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm the boss. The sauce is the boss. <laughs> hmm. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Bows? What could it mean? Hmm? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off Bad. the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? Hmm. In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret Sorry, that man. lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Two, but of course, four, Stan five. couldn't possibly get incredibly by simply putting Sweet. random buttons on the keypad. Bats. Stan to input the correct code. Bats. Amazing. He stepped hmm. into the newly opened passageway. Hmm. It'll be about 20 minutes. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why hmm. did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question was not answered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the line of the red mind control facility. Oh shit, that looks sketchy as hell. <laughs> Light bulb. The lights rose Ooh. from an enormous oh. room packed huh? with television huh? screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes, I do! <laughs> Cameras. <gasps> That's revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated? No! This isn't true! No! No! He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His I'm just gonna curl up in my boss. control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? We were, we were, we were, we were, we were, But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls uh -oh. labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery uh -oh. would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. No. Or he would dismantle the controls once uh, and for all. Wait, am I turning it on or off? Uh. Oh, Stanley. What? You didn't just activate the controls, did you? What? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. Uh. No. Stand no. No, I don't want to control. Really I'm do. leaving. But you mm. need to understand. Mm. So ah! You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. I want to. I want to throw my story off track. You're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. I am. I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Bats! This machine is activated without proper DNA identification. 
I'm gonna die! More fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You uh -oh. are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I'm very uh. aware. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Your co-workers. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Green button. Raise them. Green button. I turned Where's the green button? I set you free. Is that a green button? No. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes no. I tell it, Bows. I let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times. I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, Bows. only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Sweet. Thanks, Mouse. Additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me! What's the matter, Stanley? Please, Mouse. Have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these What's button number buttons. three? Or maybe this big red button. Button number this three. Door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Hopefully. That that big red button. Press the big red button. One soul. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> we got Stanley. a minute left. Oh, You're in oh. for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye! That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then... STANLEY! No ending, just you being blown. I'm gonna die, boss. I'm gonna die, boss. you let it go peacefully. Another choice. Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. 